Okay, today I'm out in the shop unboxing my new multifunction slide table for milling machine and bench drill press. Now this is the heavy size, so that's important. The reviews for the heavy size are very good. Some of the smaller sizes, the reviews aren't quite as good. It sounds like they're using different style of bearings or possibly just dovetail and no bearings at all. But the heavy size, part number 7520, which I don't find a part number on anything that came uh, shipped to me, but it's from the Amazon page, which I'll put a link to in this video's description, has the part number as 7520. And the Amazon page says this is suitable for mini drills and drill bracket series. It applies to um, su any suitable machine like a drill press or a smaller drill press. The table size is supposed to be 365 millimeters by 200 millimeters and the weight is 6.8 kilograms. The x-axis movement distance listed on the Amazon page is 180 millimeters and the y-axis distance is 50 millimeters. The hand wheel scale per rotation uh, is three millimeters. I didn't cut that little uh, hardware bag open. It was just split at the bottom. That may have looked staged for dramatic effect or something, but it wasn't. That's just the way it came. Here's the hardware kit laid out. It includes an Allen wrench or hex key for adjustment of the guide play, the two handles for the hand wheels, and the two mounting screws that go through them, and then the two clamping jaws and their hardware. Just a quick look around this little slide table. I like the heavy base. I like this cast iron base. My first impression is that I really like it for a hundred dollars. I really like the linear bearings and the precision guide rods. The scale is adjustable and it's granulated in inches on the top and then uh, metric on the bottom. I believe these little thumb knobs are for setting the guide play. If that's just a little bolt that goes through and hits the precision rod or the guide rod, then uh, I don't think that's a good way to do it. It'll score the rod over time. I do like these linear bearings. There's four of them on each axis and they seem pretty deep or pretty wide, which should be uh, very good for keeping the work table stable. The threaded rod and the square threads on the rod look very good. So assembly looks easy. It's this Phillips head screw. I don't know what I'm doing with the Allen wrench right now, but it's a Phillips head screw. Just insert it into the handle. And then it screws into here, into the wheel, the adjusting wheels. nothing to it. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, grease to mine before I assemble it though.
back to the table here. I'm not sure which model I have. The Amazon page. The only place I can find a model is down here at the bottom. It's saying the table size is 365 by 200. Table size. Nothing by 200. This is supposed to be the heavy duty. Which is supposed to be the bigger one. And then if you keep scrolling down in the product information. There's the part number. 7520. Did they just give me the wrong manual with this? Okay, so I'm dying to know we put the tape measure on it. The table is 350 by, by 100. 350 by 100. We go here to the base. Try to go in the same spot. Right near the rod for the linear bearing. Forty nine point one three millimeters. And let's see if we go all the way to the the block here, to the mounting block. Assume we will. Yep, so we got almost 50 from side to side. Do it one more time. 49.25. And if we go all the way, there's still a little gap between the bearing block and the end cap there. So I'll try to do this measurement here. Let's see what we got. Almost uh, 180. Not quite 180. got three slots and those just fit in there those bolts that came with it just fit in there I don't know what size they are I suppose we'll have to go from the other end here in the middle pretty nice aluminum table for uh, durability steel probably would have been better but it, nice finish on it and cast iron base cast iron um, mounting plates on it it's kind of weird the color here but uh, that's what the Amazon page showed also but overall I'm very happy with it so with that being said about the size this 6350 must be the one they've included this manual for. The pictures all look similar to what I have, and that seems like it meets the 180 by 50, so working dimensions, then the 3 millimeter. I don't know about the distance between grooves, and then the work table size, that's correct. I didn't think this manual was for mine at all but that must be the 6350 must be what it's included for so i have just one more thing i need to take it over to my new ryobi 10 inch benchtop drill press that i also did a video on 
and see how the mounting slots line up so they can insert some mounting bolts. I know both of these are little slide tables, but I was really wanting the larger slide table. So this is the review on the 6350. So I hope that you found that this was useful to you, but I'd really like to have the larger 7520 slide table. We'll see if that one is available and if I'm able to purchase that one and return this one. If you do return it, then at least you gain the benefit of this review. Now that concludes the video. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and please subscribe. I look forward to your comments.